desolate landscapes, rugged beauty, and scenery that is among the most impressive of anywhere on the planet. This is an area in southern Utah in the United States that is home to the Mighty Five, Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon National Park, Capitol Reef National Park, Canyonlands National Park, and Arches National Park. These five national parks have such an impressive array of attractions and sites that visitors may feel at times overwhelmed with all that there is to see and do in these parks. Sit back and take in the beauty as we discover the mighty five national parks in southern Utah. Situated roughly in a line that stretches southwest and northeast, from the town of St. George to the town of Moab, each of these national parks is unique in its own right, offering visitors something different and distinguishing to experience. Begin your journey to the Mighty Five by visiting Zion National Park. Located outside of the town of St. George in Springdale, Utah, Zion features towering sandstone cliffs, abundant slot canyons, and lots of different kinds of wildlife. In Springdale, hop on the Zion shuttle bus and head into the park to explore Zion Canyon. Keep in mind that if you are visiting Zion from April through October, the shuttle bus system is the only way into this part of the park. The shuttle bus makes frequent stops at lots of major sites in the park, including Angel's Landing Trailhead, the Human History Museum of Zion, and the Court of the Patriarchs. The road ends at the beginning of the Narrows, aptly named when Zion Canyon narrows to its shortest width. From here, travelers can choose from a shorter 3.6 mile hike from the Temple of Sanawa to Big Springs or a much longer hike of 16 miles from Chamberlain's Ranch back to the Temple of Sanawa. Fair warning though, you will need to find alternate transportation if you are doing the longer hike, as the road ends at the southern end of the Narrows and Chamberlain's Ranch is north of this region. The town of Springdale offers a great base for exploring Zion, with ample accommodation options including boutique hotels, such as Flanagan's Inn and Cable Mountain Lodge, to major U.S. national chain hotels, like Hampton Inn and Howard Johnson, travelers will not be disappointed. There are also many different restaurants for refueling before heading back into the park. Try Cafe Soleil or the Spotted Dog for food at reasonable prices that really showcases the distinct flavors of the area. Continue your journey to the Mighty Five by making a stop at Bryce Canyon. This park is compact as compared to other national parks and can be experienced in a day. Bryce Canyon is famous for its abundant hoodoos which are basically tall, thin rocks that protrude from a dry drainage basin. These can be viewed from all of the major viewpoints along the main road through the park. A few great hikes are worthy of mention here. The first is the Sunrise Point. This viewpoint is aptly named because it is arguably the best place to view the sunrise in all of the park. And, side note here, unlike other national parks, you can access Bryce Canyon 24 hours a day. To access Sunrise Point, Head north along the Rim Trail. The trail is mostly flat and easy, perfect for walking in the pre-dawn hours. Another great hike is the Queen's Garden Navajo Loop Trail. This trail brings you into the heart of the canyon and up close to many of the rock formations that make Bryce famous. Conclude your time in Bryce with a stop at Inspiration Point, perhaps the best scenic view in all of the park, encompassing a vast amount of voodoos. Next stop on your tour is Capitol Reef National Park named after the many white domes of Navajo sandstone that resemble the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Early European settlers found the area impassable, much like reefs in the ocean. However, today this area is not impassable. Rather, it welcomes visitors to experience many different kinds of landscapes. Perhaps the best initial experience in Capitol Reef is a drive along Highway 24. This road runs east to west for 16 miles in the park boundaries. Drive past massive cliffs and domes of white sandstone, orchards along the Fremont River, and eventually red sandstone near the town of Torrey. Take in a sunset at Sunset Point or view the park by day at Goosenecks Overlook. Both of these viewpoints are accessed off of a gravel road that turns off of Highway 24. In the center of the park is the historic Farida District. The visitor center, campgrounds, historic buildings, and the start of a few great hikes are all located here. The orchards that were first planted by early European settlers are still maintained today by the National Park Service. Be sure to stop at the Gifford Homestead for some goods made by local vendors. The homestead is well known for its homemade fruit pies and ice cream. Travelers looking to stay overnight near Capitol Reef 
can choose from a number of towns including Torrey, Teesdale, and Bricknell. Capital Reef Resort and the Red Sands Hotel, both in Torrey, offer guests great accommodations. At the Capital Reef Resort, guests can stay in Conestoga wagons or teepees, as well as more traditional hotel rooms or cabins. The resort also offers horseback riding tours and an on-site restaurant. Heading further east on your tour of the Mighty Five will take you to Canyonlands National Park near the town of Moab. Canyonland National Park showcases the canyons, arches, and mesas that have been carved out by the Green and Colorado Rivers. There are five distinct areas of the park. Island in the Sky, Horseshoe Canyon, the Maze, the Needles, and the Colorado and Green Rivers. Island in the Sky is the most visited area of the park because it is the most easily accessible of the five areas. This area has some of the best hikes on the shorter trails and can easily be done in a day. The Needles can be accessed from US 191. Stunning views, great hikes, and far less crowds give travelers a great experience. From the Island in the Sky Visitor Center, it is about a two-hour drive to the Needles. The Maze area lies on the western boundary of the park and can only be accessed by a 4x4 vehicle. Be aware, this area is incredibly rugged and remote, but visitors would be rewarded by the immense untouched landscapes well within reach. Horseshoe Canyon is located north of the Maze and the Colorado and Green Rivers run throughout the park. Unlike Bryce Canyon, Canyonlands cannot be experienced in a day. In fact, to get a real sense of the park, the Island in the Sky area cannot be experienced in a day. This park is vast, offering visitors a longer stay if they truly want to experience all that this incredible area has to offer. Finally, the last stop on your journey to the Mighty Five brings you to Arches National Park. Just outside of Moab, Utah, Arches is famous for its abundant collection of, you guessed it, natural sandstone arches. Start your journey to this incredible national park with a drive along Arches Scenic Drive. This is an 18-mile road that connects most of the main areas of the park. It is paved and usually open year-round. Use this road to connect you to all of the major attractions in the park. And perhaps the most famous attraction is the Delicate Arch, reached by a three-mile loop trail. Get here early, just before or at sunrise, as the immense popularity of this trail means that the parking lot at the trailhead fills up quickly. Another noteworthy site in Arches National Park is the Balanced Rock. This rock looks like it is balanced and might topple at any moment. Like Bryce Canyon, but unlike Zion and Canyonlands, Arches National Park can definitely be experienced in one day. If you are looking for a place to stay near Arches or Canyonlands, look no further than Moab, Utah. This town has a great amount of accommodations, such as the glamping paradise of under canvas, where guests can stay in luxury canvas structures. There are also hotels for tourists on a budget and great desert lodges, like Sage Creek at Moab, and the Moab Springs Ranch, famous for its on-site coffee shop. There are also some great restaurants in Moab. Try the Jailhouse Cafe for great breakfast food in a building that once served as the county courthouse. For a great lunch, head to the Moab Food Truck Park. Guests have a wide variety of food trucks to choose from, and the seating area is shaded and misted, offering a great relief from the midday Utah desert heat. For a final meal to finish off your day, head to the Desert Bistro, a restaurant that puts a southwestern spin on classic French fare. From Arches to Zion, the Mighty Five are some of the most incredible parks in the United States, offering visitors immense scenery and memories that will last a lifetime. It is possible to do all the parks in one trip, but you need to allow at least 10 days. Come and experience a trip like no other. Come and experience the Mighty Five National Parks of Utah.